Hello, my name is Peter Carter. I'm presenting on the climate and oceans planetary boundaries, that is, safe planetary boundaries. The two papers on planetary boundaries were published in 2009, the first and the second in 2015, and they both make the wise suggestion that to stay within safe planetary boundaries for humanity, we need to stay within the boundaries of the Holocene. That's about 11,500 years. Here we're using the past 10,000 years. This is the reference, and the references for the presentation are within these slides. The state of the climate and the state of the oceans are defining core planetary boundaries. The state of the climate and oceans today is extremely dangerous, far beyond safe boundaries, as is shown in this presentation, and it's deteriorating further at an accelerating rate. This reinforces the call by the IPCC that global emissions are required to decline immediately and rapidly for limiting at 1.5 degrees C and at 2 degrees C. So on to the Holocene as the safe climate boundary, that being the period in which we humans have developed and successfully improved agriculture and the period during which all our civilizations have occurred. On the left here is atmospheric carbon dioxide from Berkeley Earth, and this line here is the 350 ppm climate safety limit, and that is also the ocean acidification limit. On the right here from the AR6 is the global surface temperature, uh, the change from pre-industrial. So this is the Holocene maximum there. We are at 1.1 degrees C. Here, this line here is the 1 degree C climate safety limit and the 1.5 degree C here climate danger limit, which we're committed to at around 2030. And so this shows atmospheric CO2 is far above the Holocene limit. Global warming is above the Holocene limit by 0.5 degrees C and committed global warming of 1.5 degrees C is far above Holocene. This shows the past 10,000 years of these parameters stacked. The bottom here, atmospheric CO2. In the middle here, I've added ocean acidification. And on the top is global temperature. This shows my derivation of ocean acidity being the inverse of the standard metric pH. This is the AR6 image in more detail of the global temperature and that we are half a degree C above the Holocene limit. This is from the AR6. This is the atmospheric CO2 concentration over the past 3.5 million years. And the quote here is that atmospheric CO2 is the highest in at least 2 million years, and it is increasing at an accelerating rate, as shown by the graph here on the right. To the oceans. The oceans are being subjected to a triple impact. The ocean's boundary in the Planetary Boundaries paper is ocean acidification. I've added here ocean heat content and deoxygenation, the other two impacts. This is a recent paper on ocean acidification over the past 25 million years. What it shows is that ocean acidification is at a 2 million year high and that it is accelerating. This is from the Australia State of the Climate. This shows accelerating ocean heat content. And this is ocean deoxygenation from a recent paper. So I'm ending with the planetary boundaries as we began. This is the latest paper, 2015. Here's the 2015 graphic. I've highlighted climate there and oceans there. Here are the metric boundaries in the paper, and here is today's data. Uh, CO2 is far and away beyond the safe boundary, it's accelerating higher. Radiative forcing is double the safe boundary, and that's still increasing rapidly. Ocean acidification is far above the safe boundary because that is 350 ppm CO2. So clearly the graphic is far off the mark. And so I've adapted it by extending climate way out to the red and extending oceans way out to the red. 2015 paper having climate at that level just into the risk range and oceans at that level within the safety range. In conclusion, the state of the climate and oceans today is extremely dangerous, far beyond safe boundaries, and it's deteriorating. Global emissions have to be put into decline immediately and rapidly for limiting at 1.5 degrees C and 2 degrees C.